Hello folks, it's Steve again, and we're on site at Tia Maria. We're out here to check on the latest progress of our build. And we've actually been, it's been about three days since we were out here last time, and uh, we've had some good weather. Progress is just going along great. Our contractors brought in uh, additional folks for to help with the plastering. So that's one of the big things that are pushing the speed along on the, on the progress of, of the build. So let's do a quick weather check and I can show you how nice it is out here today. This is probably one of the nicer times of the years out here in the Philippines. Uh, the weather's beautiful. Got a breeze going on. It's, uh, the clouds are covering up that, uh, that, that harsh sun that, that kind of beats down on you. But uh, we're down here to check on. I've got some tree trimming done in the back. At least they're in the progress of getting it done. And uh, like I said, the weather's just fantastic for, for work. So we're going to head over to the site and check out what's going on. And uh, maybe take a peek at my neighbors and see uh, how he's doing as well. So tag along and we'll see what's, uh, see what's up. just did a quick weather check and less than a half hour since I did the intro clouds are rolling in and you can see that the weather's coming let's check to see what our progress looks like all together excuse me guys thank you you can see the front room here the let's go upstairs where it's quieter Excuse me, cool. We're in the uh, we're in the master right now, and uh, you can see the plasters. They're applying that uh, that finish coat. They're getting it smoothed out. The first coat that went on, and they're they're using that uh, the water and the and that sponge to get it uh, to get that smooth finish or semi smooth finish on the first coat. Um, they're working on the next room over. Here's the uh, Here's going to be the CR area here, or excuse me, I'm sorry, the walk-in closet. And you can see the finish on it now. As you touch it here, it's, it's, the texture's rough, but it's semi, it's a semi-smooth finish for the next coat to go on. You can watch this, this gentleman work, how they're putting in the windows here for the CR or they're working around the windows and you can see the lines that they have set in to give them their they give them their thickness it's kind of amazing the way they work with this stuff here back in the states they depend on the drywall the drywall tape to get everything smooth here everything is rough just like the concrete finish you see the, the texture of it and then they use the hard pack to to balance out everything and then put the tile down on it and get that uh, that smooth finish where it looks like it was it was done perfect when they when they get through with it. But you can see the first coat of, of plaster, how rough it really is. I mean, when they, when they when they throw that on the on the wall, they have to. That's that's why they have to score the the columns um, when they put that on there, so to here. But the concrete hollow block is is naturally very coarse, so that's a big thing there. Uh, makes it easy for the material to stick. You can see the I hired a, uh, a tree service, and these guys are amazing the way they work. I mean, they're in bare feet, no safety belt on, something I wouldn't do, but uh, they're a lot more sure footed than I am, that's for damn sure. And they go up that tree like like it's nothing. I watched my, uh, my brother in law's, um, where my wife's from. Just run up and down these coconut trees and get the coconuts like it's nothing and these guys are just really really kind of blessing the uh, athletic ability and you can see the trees here one thing I didn't I didn't like was the fact that uh, how ragged they look because they use a machete to, to chop these, uh, these trees down here and, and you can't in the Philippines 
don't make my mistake and assume when you when you when you talk to folks about a job you have to nail every detail of the job down you have to tell them that hey the chainsaw is going to come out you can use a chainsaw correct um, and that's fine for the, them using the machete for the smaller areas but uh, for the big cuts like like over there you can see let me see if I can get you a better picture this will be a lesson learned for some of you your expat guys who who take things for granted like I did first but as you can see the, the tree up in that area there that you, you, you have to tell them to go ahead and and, and use a chainsaw because you want a smooth cut because the finish it just maybe I'm anal or OCD but if you look at this one up here on top this tree where it goes up on a band where it's cut you can see how, how it looks just looks uneven and sloppy so we had to have these trees trimmed away because they were hanging on the on the actual structure itself and we had actually one of the guys who told my wife that they found a snake up on the second floor a little small on poison snake, but uh, yeah, he saw it come down from the uh, from the tree. So we had to make sure that the trees were trimmed and out of the way. And you can see Kuya up here applying that on. And again, you can see the way the string is up on top. That's how they get their level. They use that as their thickness marker. And these are one of the crew that's on here. You can see the second line. I don't know if you can pick that up, but the second line running right across there, and that's how they know how much thickness, and then they follow up behind it, so it's nice and smooth. Obviously, the uh, second CR isn't done, but you can see this finish here, how it's all completed. They use the water and now they're starting to get uh, working on getting that coat down uh, all smoothed out. One thing else I was going to tell you, you can see how they covered the, actually have that line that's that's in there. One thing I was going to tell you was that part of the process is here with the trees is that when you when you contract that out you have to tell them what to cut, how to cut it, what your expectations are, whether you need the roots out completely or and then you need to have it cut up and, and hauled to a site or off-site or arranged for a, a third-party company because and that's all inclu inclusive of the price so there's I have two different people I have to deal with you can see that You can see the, the jackhammer, the portable jackhammer that they're using on one side, and then the, you can see the way the gentleman's uh, chipping stuff out there for to change the different sizes for the, for things like conduits and the wall sizes. Because we had a door there originally, and you can see where the door is covered up here, and the window is covered, is covered up. That was the the window right there. And that was the outside door. We're going to keep that. We decided to cut that off. Didn't need that access. And I can see one mistake that uh, we corrected. And that's this window here. I think that's why this check mark is here on it. Because the window that's here is supposed to be a lot longer and wider. And Dave knows about that and he's he was working on it, so he just told the guys that he'll finish it up later. And they'll have to knock out some more space. And this area here will go out to the out again and extend to that corner. That'll be my area behind this wall. Will be my dirty kitchen. Will be my laundry area, and then some more storage area. So this is all the kitchen, and this will be the living room slash dining room. And I'll have an island where I'm standing at now. So it's coming along come along nicely these guys are picking the pace up which is for me super super nice well folks that's it for the build today and I want to wish you guys the best appreciate your support so stay safe and uh, God bless if you have any comments suggestions 
Please from, let us know. I picked from them a lot of from the viewers a lot of good stuff that I present to my builder and let them know um, what I want done and have changed a lot of things because of the comments of some of the experienced folks that have gone through this. And for me, every day out here is a learning cycle, so uh, I keep plugging along. So take care, and we'll see you next time.